iPhone's action button is very useful, but you can only do one action with it for the rest of eternity. You can set it up to open a shortcut which you can then set as a menu and make it do whatever you want. But then what's the difference between this and a shortcut on the lock screen when I still have to look at my phone? Wouldn't it be cool if you could bring up a menu when you're in your notes app to help make note taking more efficient? Or when you're in standby mode, you can quickly bring up a focus timer, but you can still use the action button as a regular mute switch. I found a way to dynamically change what the action button does based on automations. And I'm going to show you how you can set that up yourself as well. First, you need to make sure that you have the actions app installed on your phone, which is completely free. Then open the shortcuts app and go into automations. Here we will create our first automation for the notes app as an example first. So let's tap on add and search for app. Then search for your desired app. So for my case, it's going to be notes. Click on done, set it to is open. Make sure is closed is turned off, run immediately, then tap next and then new blank automation. Here we're going to search for set text action from the actions app. So global variable set text, select it. We're going to give this a name, which is in the key box right here. So let's call it notes menu. So because I already have one, I'm going to use notes menu too, so that I can easily show you what I mean in the later step. So what this will do is every time we open the notes app, it will set this variable to true. We will check for this later in our main shortcut in just a moment. Since we have a true, we also need a false when we leave our notes app. So let's click on done and create another one. Same as before, we're going to search for app. And this time we're going to set the is closed, checked and is open, turn off. And we're going to run this immediately. Select our notes app just like before. And we're going to click on done. Next, new blank automation. I'm going to search for the same action, set text, add it and make sure you give the key the exact same name as the variable before. For my case, it's going to be notes menu two, and I'm going to set this value now to false. So as you may have guessed, when we leave the app, it will set the notes menu variable to false. That's about it. You will do this for every kind of automation you want to create. Let's create one more for when I'm charging. I want the action button to open the timer duration picker so I can start the focus timer very quick. So let's click on done, create a new action, and I'm going to set charging this time. Charger is connected, run immediately, click on next, new blank automation, and again, just like before, set text variable. And this time I'm going to give it a new variable. So because we've already used notes menu, let's create another one. I'm going to call this charging one. And I'm going to set this value to true. So as soon as I'm connected to my charger, it will set the charging one variable to true. So click on done. Let's create a false state. So let's create another one for charging charger is disconnected make sure it's connected is turned off because this is the false state run immediately and next new blank set text variable and give it the same name so charging one and my value is going to be false now what you've created is every time you put your phone on charge it will set the variable charging one to true when you remove the charger it will set the charging one variable back to false so what we have to do before we create our shortcut is we need to execute these variables for the very first time because as of now these variables have not run so these variables does not exist in the actions app so all you have to do is all the automations that you have created just run them one time so i'm going to put, remove my charger and put it back in so now that variable has been created and let's now open the notes app this is actually the script for the video and so the variable has been created now and the variable has been now been set to false all right, back to my shortcuts app. I'm going to go into the shortcuts now and we're going to create our very first shortcut. Oh, wow. And we're going to create our first main shortcut. What I like to call this smart actions menu is live action. I think it is fitting because it is live. It knows your context and it shows you a menu or whatever action you want to do based on context. So live action is a fitting name. So I like to create a folder and then inside of it, I create all my live action actions whether it's the notes menu or as you can see i've created a few more for my use cases just as an example i'm going to create a new folder for you live action two click on add i'm going to go into it and i'm going to create a new shortcut let's call this live action two and you can add a, an icon to this as well so we have set our variables we have created the variables let's now call them back using the get variable action so let's search for global variable, get text. Let's add that in. And when you click on key, you will see all the available variables that you have created. 
Now, if you don't see it here, you need to make sure that you have already run your shortcut once. So in my case, I've already done that as I've showed you. And in here, I am going to use the notes menu as my get variable. Now we need to add an if action so that we can do something with the variable that we have gotten. So add an if, and we're going to now set this to if true. Inside of this if, you can add whatever you want your action button to do. As a simple example, I'm going to add a menu and I'm going to put it inside my if. I'm going to call it select text or whatever, notes menu. And I'm going to say copy, copy date, copy time, because I like to copy my time and date sometimes and then to add it into my note. So let's add a copy to clipboard inside of here. And now we're done with our first automation. But if you remember, we've created two automations. So how do we run that one as well? As simple as it gets, you just need to duplicate your get variable, set its name to the relevant variable. So which in my case, it was charging one, there we go. And I just need to add another if and set it to that variable. So you click on condition and do not select global variable because this will select the last one that we used. You can just select on select variables to make sure you select the correct get variables and we're going to select charging one and we're going to set this to true like so and inside of it i'm going to add a timer so start timer and that is how you add as many actions as you want right here now you may be wondering we've already added two different automations but we still haven't created an action for our silent mode as it does by default well in order to add our global action we need to tell this shortcut that all of these variables are set to false and here's how we do that we add a new if action and we need to add conditions for each of these variables that we have created to false. So here's how we do that. Click on F, select variable and scroll up and select the very first variable. Then set that to false. And click on the plus icon to add another condition. Select the condition, select variable, scroll up and select the next variable. Set that to false as well, just like so. As you may have guessed, now every time this shortcut runs, it will check if all the variables are false and then it will run any action that is inside of this if. So you can obviously add whatever you like, but I'm going to add it to silent mode as Apple or God's intended. Let's set this to toggle. All right, so now click on done and go into your settings app. Here, scroll down to the action button, select your action and search for a live action too. Here we go. Now, if I now press my action button, you can see I'm getting a timer because I'm connected to my charger. I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to remove my charger and I'm going to run it again. And when I run it, it will set my silent mode. So if I press it, you can see my silent mode is now turned on. And if I press it again, the silent mode is now off, just like a toggle. Let's now test the notes app see if that works we're in the app press and hold there we go we get a copy date and copy time so if i copy my date and i'm going to paste it right here there we go we now have a date i should probably remove the time but hey that's not a problem <laughs> we can always tweak this to our heart's desire now i would like to share some tips and tricks that i've used to make my action a bit more user friendly and easy to manage what i would recommend you do is add a run shortcut action instead of creating the shortcuts right here because if you have a longer shortcut it slows down the shortcuts app by a lot and it is not a great experience so here is what i have done in my main live action right here so i have the main shortcut which is called the live action i have the notes menu which i like to add a, an abbreviation right in front of the name which is la and it lets me know it is related to the live actions main action and i have also the standby timer i have the rotation toggle so when i'm in the youtube app and i need to rotate my phone i don't have to open the notification center or do whatever i can just rotate my phone and it checks if my phone is in landscape i press the action button and it turns on the orientation lock so my phone just rotates just like you would have something on an android phone and i also have a separate shortcut for the global action so that's the live action shortcut i will have the shortcut channel linked in the description if you want to play around with it yourself if you do create some really cool stuff with it please share it in the comments below i would love to see what you guys make and maybe i can integrate it into my own life as well and some other people can find it useful as well hope you found this video useful if you did please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future thank you so much for watching peace